So I recently released a video that was essentially a tribute video to the extremely talented Alex Ross. And you all seem to really enjoy that video, which prompted me to try it again. And so in this video, we are going to take a look at another extremely talented artist, specifically a bunch of fantastic covers from this artist. If you want to know who I'm talking about, stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this episode of The Random Run, we are going to be looking at a random assortment of comics from my collection that have all been done by the extremely talented Gabriel Del Otto. And I have to tell you, I don't know as much about Gabriel Del Otto as I do Alex Ross, partly because Alex Ross actually has a YouTube channel and I've been able to hear from him you know, how he thinks about art, how he creates art, what he thinks about brushes and paper and all this kind of stuff. And I don't believe that Gabriel Del Otto actually has a channel, uh, but the bigger issue is that he is an Italian artist that I don't think speaks English, and I certainly don't speak any foreign languages, much less Italian. And so my understanding of him isn't as great as it is with Alex Ross. Now, with all of that said, I will admit that this guy's artwork kind of, sort of, speaks for itself. So off to my side, I have a ton of really awesome books that have been pulled, some from the wall behind me, others from the bins here in my room. All of these books are all in my collection and they are all fantastic pieces of artwork that we are going to look at. Now, one of the other things that I'll say about uh, Del Otto's work is that where Alex Ross, in my opinion, tends to be very refined and, and very thorough when he actually does a piece, a lot of, lot of detail. Uh, Del Otto is a little more abstract, a little more loose, and you'll kind of see what I mean in some of the pieces that I'm actually going to be showing you. His art isn't any less spectacular than Alex Ross. It's just different. And in some cases, to be honest with you, I have to do a double take on certain pieces because they are reminiscent of Alex, in, in my opinion. And so again, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these, these great pieces of, of artwork from Del Otto. The, the first one is a really cool book, and it's actually a book um, uh, featuring a character that I really enjoy. It is Ultimate X-Men, and it's not often that I actually get to show uh, Ultimate uh, Universe type book. So I had to start with this one, but this is Ultimate X-Men number 97 featuring Wolverine. And this is a really, really cool uh, green cover right here. And, and what you'll notice again, it's like if you look in certain areas, there isn't a whole lot of detail, right? I mean, there there is some detail, but like there's the black background is like all blown out. There isn't as much like detail in like his figure in terms of like muscle fibers and things like that, that you might see in other cover artists. Still a great cover. It's just not as detailed as what you might see from other people. This next one um, maybe is, a, is maybe a little opposite of that to some degree or another. The characters themselves, I think, are somewhat detailed, but then there's no detail in the background. He really likes to have a, a, an image or two or three, but not a whole lot in the background. And so this is uh, Secret Invasion number eight. And again, featuring Wolverine right there. There's also Captain America and Thor, arguably uh, one of my favorite covers of him that he's done featuring like Captain America, right? I really, really dig this one. Really cool cover. Uh, this next one is is again, just a single solitary thing, no background of any kind, and is a, again, a little reminiscent of Alex Ross in that it is a, a face cover. This is Secret Invasion 5 of 8, and uh, again, just a really, really cool cover, but uh, it, it doesn't have maybe all the detail that you would see with other artists, but still, really striking and definitely creepy. Definitely creepy. <laughs> Here's another, uh, again, same kind of thing. This is uh, Secret Invasion number one 
gorgeous red cover right here. I you know yeah, I love the color red, so uh, I'm a big fan of that right there. Here is one that I, I really enjoy. Again, single figure. You, you'll you notice that there is a theme with him. Um, this is a cool uh, Batman book. This is uh, City of Bane, Batman 76, featuring the Cape Crusader right there. Uh, I, I dig this cover. I, uh, I, th I want to say that maybe there's a version of this, um, but I wasn't able to get that one, but I do have this one, and I thought it's a really, really striking cover featuring Batman. Here's another book that's actually been in my collection for a very long time. I actually picked this one up at the House of Pop Culture. I think this is actually in Waldorf, Maryland. Uh, and it kind of dovetails with some things that I did recently uh, where I talked about the, the Illuminati. Uh, and this is New Avengers number one uh, featuring the Illuminati. And again, a, a really nice Del Otto cover right there. Maybe the most uh, individuals I've ever seen him do on a single cover because a lot of it, again, is a single person or two or three. This is a healthy number of, uh, of individuals on the cover right there. Cool book. Uh, here is uh, maybe one of my favorite. Uh, he has done two or three really gorgeous red covers that I find striking. Uh, one of them is in my hand. One of them I did not buy and I still regret it to this day. It was, I think it was Amazing Spider-Man 800, uh, a really, really striking uh, Spider-Man cover that I stared at and stared at, but because of the price, I just could not bring myself to pull the trigger on it. Did not do it, and uh, it's one of those ones that I still kind of regret. The price of the book has probably fallen from where it was before, uh, and I haven't looked for it, to be honest with you, but it's one of those ones that I still think about occasionally that maybe one day I'll get. Uh, one of the other really, really striking red covers that Del Otto did was this one. This is Marvel Comics 1000 featuring Daredevil, just fantastic, fantastic. And I want to say that I have a version of this as well. Somewhere in the collection, I could not locate it, uh, but this one with the trade dresses is just as good. So for those that don't know, that's kind of trade dress. The version would not have that on there and it would just be plain artwork. So I know a lot of people are still kind of new to comics that still watch the channel. So I want to make sure that I translate things whenever I I, uh, I can. So the next three are really, really cool covers. They, they are fantastic covers. I want to say that all of these were actually an A-OK -okay that were sent to me uh, by the name, uh, by a guy by the name of J.D., and uh, I don't even know if JD is still making videos on YouTube anymore, but I believe that he sent me to these books um, well over a year ago. Uh, super appreciative because they are all probably like nine, eight candidates. I kid you not, black covers, most of them are probably like nine, eights. Um, this one does have a little bit of a bend, but who cares? Again, fantastic A-OK -okay from an awesome YouTuber and member of the comic book community. This is Secret War book one of five and this one is just just striking cover right there featuring spider-man on a black background and if you stay tuned until the end of the video you'll actually see a couple of other uh, uh variant versions of this particular issue next up is uh is book three of five featuring Captain America. Again, just really, really striking. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that on camera there, but uh, just a really striking cover uh, featuring uh, Cap. And again, a lot of, a lot of detail in the, the, the character, but nothing really in the background. And I, and I think he's also a painter as well. So maybe that's why um, this one, again, is very reminiscent of uh, the Marvel 1000 that I just showed you a second ago. This is Secret War, uh, book five of five featuring Daredevil. And, and that red just pops off of that black background like nobody's business. Just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And then the last two books that I'm actually going to show you are ones that actually have come off the wall back there that I'm going to put right back on the wall after this video is over. Uh, this first one here is a really, really striking uh, virgin uh, variant from Del Otto. Uh, it is Silver Surfer, the best defense number one. And uh, there are not enough words to describe just how gorgeous this Silver Surfer cover actually is 
just incredible. Just incredible the way that it's done. I don't know whether he painted this thing, he drew it in charcoal, I don't know, but it is it is really, really striking. And uh, this is one of those ones that I saw and I just, I knew I had to have that one in the collection. So very pleased to have uh, been able to pick that up. And this next one, uh, I, I, I think is incredibly striking. Uh, I had to turn it sideways because it is a horizontal cover. Um, man, this is, uh, what's this? Who, I think I got this from uh, IG Comic Store, I want to say. Um, this is Amazing Spider-Man number two. This is Dale Otto uh, variant cover B, Nick Spencer story. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 803 is basically what it is. Uh, Lizard, Taskmaster, Black Ant, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but again, you'll notice here that in some places, lots of detail and other places, not a whole lot of detail. And I just no noticed that it looks like there's uh, no, I thought that was the double helix. Um, that's actually a sewer grate, <laughs> but it is a really, really cool Del Otto cover featuring uh, Spider-Man and Sandman. I absolutely love this. This was actually one of the first Dale Otto covers that I actually went out of my way to purchase just because I thought that the cover was so striking. Just, just, just a gorgeous cover. No doubt about that one. So there you have it. This is essentially uh, my tribute video to the extremely talented Gabriel Del Otto. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I definitely want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up. I'll leave a comment behind. If you haven't watched the video on Alex Ross, uh, go back and watch that. I will try to put a link at the end of the video, but check that one out because it is also, I think, a really good tribute video. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects, or you can send me an email to Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. Take care.